Hi and welcome Gemini, this is Rose Burnett from Mind, Body, Soul, Bounce and this is your monthly tarot reading for June 2018. Just remember it is a general reading so uh, take from it what you will, always trust your own inner guidance and intuition yeah, when interpreting the messages. Now if you would like a personal reading with me, attune to your own energy and circumstances, I'll pop the link on this video and in the description box below. And uh, if you'd like to win a personal reading with me, you can uh, opt into my blog, which I'll um, put the link here as well. I do run a monthly competition, so you can win a 30-minute personal reading with me valued at $50, yeah? So let's get started with your reading. So first up, I'm actually going to do love and romance for you. Um, and we're going to have a look at your uh, heart and soul energy by Tony Carmine Salerno. And let's see what you need to know, Gemini. Wow, this is gorgeous. Have a look at that. Beautiful. And what it says, Gemini, is a new phase begins and brings with it new opportunities. This is a lucky and prosperous time where much that previously seemed impossible now becomes possible. Doors previously closed, now open, your world is full of light. How beautiful. I love that that's the first card that's come out for you. All right, so for those of you looking for love or in a love relationship and you want some love and romance advice, I'm going to pull you some guidance from the uh, Romance Oracle deck by you. Uh, Doreen Virtue. And uh, if you can hear any noise, or it's a little bit of a storm outside so it's just started raining which is kind of like being inside it's kind of cozy yeah all right well, let's see what guidance we have for you mm. okay this is interesting it's called the separation card so it's saying that time apart is on the horizon and uh, I never get too concerned about the separation card unless we had something else come out before it yeah so it can just mean that your partner is uh Goes, it goes away for work in terms of they're a fly in, fly out. Um, it could also mean that uh, they're going on a holiday or you're going on a holiday. Sometimes when we just meet somebody, it can be they can be traveling, yeah, and it's like, oh God, they were here and then they're gone. Um, it's not gonna apply to everybody. The overarching message is stay optimistic about your love life, yeah? Be positive. Uh, this is often about being in flow and just trusting in divine timing as well in terms of uh, your love life. Mm, because great love is worth waiting for, yeah? It's basically saying divine timing is happening. So if you're going like, oh my God, when am I going to find the love of my life? Well, hello, divine timing is happening in your love life. Yeah, focus on yourself for a bit. Often that will help raise your vibration. Do things that uh, light you up. Spend time with your friends, your family. Um, have fun. Have um, Do things that are joyful and adventurous, yeah, just to raise your vibration. But just know the great love is worth waiting for, which means being very discerning about your choices in love partners, yeah, not rushing into things because you're, you're desperate for love, but making discerning choices for yourself, yeah. Beautiful. All right, well, what else do you need to know? <laughs> that one so flew out. Well, for some of you, children are affecting your love life. So you could be in, uh, you could be meeting somebody or in a relationship with someone that's got children. Could be your children. Um, often when this comes up, it's about trying to find that couple time together, yeah can also, uh, trying to merge families is never easy. It can be a little bit of conflict, but um, it's about handling that together, yeah. But trying to make that time for each other. All right, what else does Gemini need to know? Mm, wow. Release your ex. Time has come to release and clear that energy, cut the cords. So if you're... If you're still pining for an ex or you still need to do a little bit of heart healing, I don't actually feel that there's much there. But um, it's about, if you want new love to come in, it's about letting go of the attachment to the past, yeah? Stop focusing on it. Just focus on the, the bright future ahead of you. So I'm going to um, actually pull some cards from a deck I haven't used for a while, Nature's Whispers. And... Uh, it's a very gentle, gorgeous deck. So let's see what guidance comes up for you, Gemini. 
What does Gemini need to know? Wow. Just be open, it says, to new experiences and possibilities coming into your life. So it's about being open, having that sense of wonder, um, trying new things, yeah. I'm going to pull you one more. What else does Gemini need to know? Holding on to it. <laughs> And if this is the first time you're watching one of my readings, I'm actually, if you don't know, a certified transformation coaching NLP practitioner, as well as an advanced Reiki practitioner as well, with a deep connection to nature and spirit and the divine. All right, so you've pulled, uh, you've pulled celebrate differences. I'm going to say to you that this pretends to your love life, so you don't need to be the same, right? You don't need to be uh, looking for a partner that's the same as you. Or you might be connecting with somebody that's a little bit different. So it's about celebrating those differences, the uniqueness about each other, you know. Being a little bit more open. All right, let's pull you some guidance from the uh, Goddess Guidance deck. This is all about this, uh, about your general energy, things you need to know. Mm. They pulled Rhiannon and Sorceress, so it basically this is uh, this is about you being able to manifest what it is that you want to manifest. You have everything within you to create whatever it is that you want to create in terms of love and romance, in terms of your life path, life purpose. Yeah. So get manifesting. It's two that want to come out for you. Right next to that, you pulled Dana, High Priestess. Wow, this is all about having divine, divine knowledge, a high level of spirituality to share, to share that knowledge with the world. If you so choose, you're divine, you're divinely protected at this time to do that. Not going to apply to everybody. You know who you are. Yeah, sitting right next to sorceress. Mm. And you've also pulled Diana focused intention. So it's about following your, not only your heart space, but having clear goals and strategies in place to bring, bring whatever it is that you want to do in terms of your life path, life purpose um, into fruition. And when you focus on even just to, like, what is my next step in terms of um, your life path, life purpose, about bringing in more financial abundance, if that's something that you're concerned about. Um, Take the steps you're guided to take, but stay focused, yeah? It's not going to happen by itself. It's also sitting under, in terms of love and romance, it's sitting under the worth waiting for cards. So it's also having a clear idea of what you want in a soulmate partnership, yeah? And attracting that to you. And making, as I say, discerning choices in love. Oh, wow, yeah. Okay. You've also pulled Butterfly Maiden Transformation. So going through some changes, um, it always brings blessings, yeah. When this happens, it's all about beginnings and endings. Letting go of the old two will transform into the new. Mm. And just know you've got Artemis, you're divinely, you and your loved ones are divinely protected at this time. And there's actually one more that wants to come out for you. Mm. All right, you pulled best at home. So if things have been a little bit turbulent at home, they're going to settle down this month, yeah. It can also mean that you're uh, thinking of purchasing a home or moving home or a healthy change in occupants, yeah. Meaning somebody could be moving in and somebody could be moving out. Who knows? You let me know. All right, I'm going to pull you some guidance from the Crystal Oracle deck. Let's see what comes up for you, Gemini. Mm, wow. This is your second card in terms of protection. Black tourmaline. Actually working with black tourmaline today in terms of crystals. As well, I've got quite a few more crystals here that have got black tourmaline here. So just know that if you've been worrying about anything, particularly finances, even your even your love life, just know you you're protected. Double confirmation. Mm. 
under High Priestess Diana, you've got Amethyst Meditation. So if you want to connect into your spirituality, you're going to do it when you take some quiet time out for self. Also, if you want to do some manifestation, do some meditation, yeah. Um, if you've watched any of my other videos, I often share with you, I'm not so great at meditation, can't sit still for too long. That's me all over. Um, I do my meditation in terms of doing Reiki on myself, which is just the most amazing practice, or getting out in nature and just talking to my angels, yeah. You can do that. That's basically your advice too, if you've got any stresses or worries. Oh wow, you've got so much here in terms of spirituality. You pulled the Master Teacher card, Divine Temple, so connecting connecting deeply with Source this month, if you so choose. can also mean that you have within you to be that spiritual teacher, because you've also got High Priestess. Love to hear if that resonates with you. Mm. Under Transformation, you've also pulled Calcite Relaxation, so transformation can be draining yeah going through change can be draining take some time out to put your feet up and have some fun but also just to chill out relax all right well, what else does gemini need to know oh yeah when you release your ex apart from the fact you're divinely protected which is straight underneath it you're going to shine you're going to shine in your love life um also be courageous enough to shine on your life path, life purpose. Yeah, step up, step up. I'm gonna pull you one more. Mm. You've also pulled the learning card, so fluorite. So if you're going through changes and it's about your career, it's about going back to school and doing a little bit more learning perhaps to build your skills up and have more confidence. In terms of your love life, there could be it's quite close to release your ex. There could be some learning you need to do around that so you don't take any, um, I guess, sabotaging, self-sabotaging behaviours with you into your next love relationship is the message, yeah? So it's about digging a bit deeper and learning, taking responsibility for self for how you show up in relationships. Um, that can be a hard thing to do. Very liberating. Um, you've got to have courage to do it. Look, look within and go, okay, so how did I contribute to that last past relationship? So you can free yourself up for new love, yeah, not take it with you, not take those um, those behaviours with you. All right, I'm going to pull you some specific guidance from the Energy Oracle deck. Right, let's see what you need to know, Gemini. These two want to come out for you straight away. You've pulled the fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel. This is all about speaking the truth, speaking from your heart space. Um, interestingly enough, in terms of love relationships, it's on this, under the separation card. So if you're going to be, and it's not going to apply to everybody, so if you are going to be separated from your partner in terms of them working or traveling or you working and traveling, make sure to keep in touch, you know, express your feelings, your love feelings, particularly the message coming through. Be vulnerable. Um... And in terms of uh, if you want to follow, follow a spiritual path, it's about communicating your message and being confident enough to communicate your message. Wow, so much in terms of spirituality here. Under Dana High Priestess and um, Meditation Amethyst, you've just pulled your seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. This is your crown chakra. This is your connection to spirit and the divine. So uh, spend some time meditating because that's where you are going to connect the most. Yeah, beautiful. Means your vibrations rising a lot. Wow. Okay. Watch out for envy this month, Gemini. This is um, if you have a look at it, I'll bring it closer. If you have a look at this card, this woman is holding in one hand a whole. I believe that. Let me have a look. I think they're pearls. Yeah. Yeah, she's holding a whole bowl of pearls and a single pearl in the other, yeah. So it can be a scarcity consciousness. It can be um, being envious or jealous of what other people have in terms of their wealth, their home, the success that they're going through. In this instance, it's about being appreciative and grateful of what, what, what good things are happening in your own life, yeah. Often materialistic things don't bring us the most joy. Just remember that. It's sitting under source card. 
um, and focused intent. So if you want to change your life and transform, and also if you're envious of someone, that's your shadow side coming out. It means that you want perhaps those similar things for yourself. So take focused intent and action towards your goals and dreams. Yeah. You've also got divine temple source card in between that. So how are you going to get around that? Your advice in terms of whether you are suffering from a bit of envy this month is to connect to spirit. You've also pulled your second chakra, um, Archangel Ariel. So this is all about your emotions and your sexuality. Balancing those out is going to be really important for you. Right above that is uh, transformation. So uh, transformation and relaxation. So if you're feeling emotionally overwhelmed at any point in June, take the time for self, yeah? How many chakras want to come out for you? You've got the fifth chakra, you've got the seventh chakra, you've got the second chakra, and you just pulled your first chakra. So it's all about balancing your chakras this month. Um, your first chakra, Archangel Michael, this is all about your basic needs, your security, your safety, your home, food, finances, um, connection to others, yeah, basic connection to others. So the overarching message is if you've been worrying about your basic needs, stop worrying. Everything's going to be fine. Um, above that is divine protection in terms of Artemis the Guardian. Just know you're divinely protected. Um, it is time for you to step up and shine because it's sitting there too. Um, overarchingly, it's about balancing your chakras this month. Take that time out for self, particularly in meditation, it's going to help you watch your energy levels. Um, yeah, I'm going to pull you one more. We need to do that. Your blossoming abundance coming. This is about your project. Um, it's also about love, blossoming love. Yeah, mostly, mostly about your life path, life purpose. Beautiful. All right. I'm going to pull you a crowning energy, Gemini, from the uh, Kun Yin Oracle deck, and let's see what comes up for you. I wanted to come out for you. Oh, wow. Okay. You pulled the Tao. I don't think that one's come out for quite some time. For any star sign. Mm. All right. I'll show it to you one more time. So beautiful. She's actually playing a um, harp. And what it says, Gemini, is the Tao is always flowing, always nourishing life into creation, always presenting steps and solutions, and always reminding us that we are perfection in this moment. You are being guided to relax and allow life to flow. Oh my God, so on point with your reading. Beloved, you are being invited into a more spiritual, advanced classroom of the soul. Sometimes we think more advanced means more effort, and yet in spiritual matters, as we mature, we become more able to stop attempting to control and direct from our more limited perspective, and instead to open up to receiving and being directed by higher forces, which include our own divine essence, at one with the source of all. Please bump your support source card. This does not mean that we become a loose leaf blown about by the winds of fate, it means rather that we become strong like bamboo within ourselves and able to move in this direction or that without losing our power. In fact, our flexibility can become part of what makes us a powerful instrument of divine creativity and healing. There are times when the Tao, the mystery of the source endlessly unfolding, calls us strongly to be flexible and to stop fighting against the flow and instead let it move up. I just want to pull one thing out for you. Because we've now had two references in this guidance to source. Beautiful. It is the difference between trying to swim all the way to shore, not even knowing if we are heading in the right direction, but just thinking we could be, on one hand, and allowing a cosmic wave to lift us carry us and deposit us on the shoreline and the right shoreline for us quickly and with grace. 
But why should it be so easy, you might wonder? The challenge is not to try and force life to unfolding according to our whims, but to grow in trust, wisdom, self-love and self-worth so that we become capable of surrender. The way is effortless, yet the journey to being able to surrender into the way is not always so effortless. We can make our molehills into mountains unintentionally and so you're being asked to let go, to relax and to allow life to do what it does, which is flow. Life, the Tao, is more powerful than any apparent obstacle. The Tao flows through all situations and presents natural solutions no matter how unsolvable those situations may appear to be. It just needs to be allowed to do so. Beautiful. And there's an affirmation and what it says to crown your reading is guide me restore me i trust you completely your wisdom love and joy lights my path and the way becomes easy for me oh manny ped me hum beautiful gemini so on point with your reading now if you enjoyed this reading please like comment share and subscribe to my youtube channel i do read all the comments if you're going to be negative i'm going to put a disclaimer in here we don't do negative on this channel it's all about raising the positivity of it, this planet one person at a time yeah so if you're feeling negative go out and balance and ground yourself and then come back and uh, you'll get a lot more of this message yeah all right don't forget uh if you want a personal reading with me tune to your own energy and circumstances link is on this video and if you want to win a personal reading with me pop over to my website and uh, opt into my blog and you'll go into the monthly draw yeah and for now much love, much light. Namaste.